Nyar. This is Calcat the Calcatster. Earlier I reviewed Jurassic World um, Dominion. Uh, and now since I've watched uh, the Cinema Sob short review and the, and the Channel Awesome short review on the other side, of, uh, they, they didn't like it. And uh, some of the stuff they, they, they hinted at what, what would have been the right way to do it very similar to the Calicat Mark's Cars story that they ended up not using for the Dominion. And now the Dominion is out, I reveal to you the, the premise that they didn't want to use, which would have been way closer to what the Cinema Snob and Nostalgia Critic wanted to have, way closer. Hmm. So basically, uh, similar stories going on. Uh, they, they pointed out in some of these reviews that the... the Although I didn't mind Jurassic World Dominion even now, even now six six hours later, <laughs> seven hours after seeing it, I yeah it was it was I, it was way better than than well the haunted house one, and it was it was better than definitely better than two and three, because two and three the two was a mess because it was basically part one but bigger. And at the end, a little girl gymnast saves the day by kicking a velociraptor. No. No. It's kind of like the first one. Uh, in part three, the, they're just on another island and something else happens, similar to two. But a kid has T-Rex pee that he's collecting. And there's a, like an overturned truck and he's in the truck. And, and, they're, and some of them are there. And yeah, uh, I'm not sure why. And it just wasn't very interesting. Uh, then they rebooted everything a couple of years later with uh, Jurassic, uh, yeah, the, these new ones, Jurassic World. And I didn't mind Jurassic World, uh, uh, and then but Fallen Kingdom was kind of a mess. And this one is not as bad as the last one. Uh, I said this one, this one's on a par with Part Two, really, uh, more so than three. Uh, at least they showed some of the dinosaurs doing things. Yeah, at least in part two, they almost implied dinos in the city. So, here's the Calcat and Mark's Cards version of Jurassic World 3. You can get to see. Uh, I didn't write it down, but we discussed it. So, this is this is what the fans want. We like to do this kind of thing. So, so this is our idea that was not, not a script. There's no script to look at. Um, it's several years after the, the, the other two. And it's similar beats, but the beats are more okay. Well, it's it's more obvious. It's less. Oh, the dinosaurs and the people just kind of get along now, and they have dinosaur fights and things, and there's some dinosaurs in the street. But oh, you know, you know. yeah, they dumbed that down, and they shouldn't have had, had that. It was a little odd in the movie. They're they're not scary if they're not big and scary. So, haunted house. They. They went the opposite direction. They thought, let's make it less scary than the Haunted House one. The Haunted House one wasn't all that scary either. Um, and besides, the little clone girl actually caused it all to happen. So. Um, the first place. The second one. Uh, so the idea for the, the Calicat Marks Cards idea is similar in, in some ways to this one. Uh, think Judge Dredd crossed with the Lost World, the original 50s version, crossed with a little bit of <laughs> a little bit of Judge Dredd, but it's more like Assault in Precinct 13. And there's a little bit of um, a little bit of Die Hard in there with dinosaurs. Uh, the the in, my, in in our story, it's Los Angeles, mainly Los Angeles and other places because it was during COVID. I thought of this, so they can just be in one town. Uh, that well, that's where the main battle happened. So you have them hiding out in the desert, like in the... They're hiding out in the, um, not the desert. They're hiding out in the similar way. They're hiding out in the in the woods. And, uh, things happen. It wasn't Blue and a baby that's raptor. That would have been awful. It isn't the girl. They are hiding out, though. So, in the Calcat Marks Cards version, they're hiding from the authorities and the other bad guys, and they want to get them. Uh, they don't necessarily trap... 
a baby raptor because that doesn't make sense. It's more like there are a bunch of them around. In in this version, uh, the the dinosaurs have taken over parts of the city in a similar way to that. Uh, not exactly like it's not cordoned off like like that Las Vegas zombie movie, the uh, Zack Snyder zombie movie. It's not like that. It's not cordoned off. Uh, what's going on is the uh, the evil bad guy. The bad guy they chose was Dotson in this one, apparently. Doing the Elon Musk thing. That's in our version too. That guy's in our version too. But he's doing other other things. Mm. So he's doing other things. So basically we give the uh, the fans what they want. Uh, we, we do get uh, some of the uh, leg legacy cast back. We get all of them, but we, but we do it in a way that's more creative. It opens up with in our version with it's Lex, Lex from Lex and the Raptor. She's out there like doing something, homemaker, whatever uh, kind of thing, and and she like looks up and just before the credits, the uh, she she sees a dinosaur and just walks by and she's oh not again. <laughs> and she goes over to the car, she contacts the two people that are hiding, and that's the way the story starts. Uh, not again. <laughs> contacts Tim, who's now a programmer, and who, con who then contacts Grant and Sattler, starting the story. Uh, and then the other two. There's dinosaurs in the city, and there. And then you jump to a few years, uh, a few months or a few years later. They've taken over Los Angeles, <laughs> so there's like dinosaurs everywhere, um, and they ram and they and they're rampaging through the streets, just like uh, Superman wants. Remarkably similar to his idea, actually. Uh, we thought of it too. Yeah, it's like give the fans what they want. The they they've taken over. The dinosaurs are trying to take over the Earth. There are it's, it's considering that silly haunted house story. Uh, it's sort of a haunted house with dinosaurs story. Now they're everywhere. They've messed with the power grid. They're everywhere. Ellie is in ruin, basically, and at the heart of this. <laughs> Not every city's in ruins, just the one that's under attack. Um, and, uh, and it's not a globe-trotting sort of thing to another island where they do yet another, like, oh, the big dinosaurs fight each other at the end thing, like in the new one. It's it's more like, oh, yeah, they have, the, they have the fight, but it's in the middle of Los Angeles. It's actually ballsy. Um, come on. It's actually set at Universal Studios. Than that part. The dinosaurs have taken over the park and they're like some of them are on the ride for Jurassic World ride and they're like terrorizing the, 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 the people on the ride. They don't know it yet and they get on the ride and they're like and it's actually a real dinosaur and then like they go into the ride the car comes out of the ride but they're, there's just blood everywhere. Ah! <laughs> oh, they, they took them off the ride and <laughs> <laughs> Yuck. Ew. Yes. Ew. And there's like, 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 di like dinosaurs walking around and doing shit. There's, at one point, there is even there's like, um, uh, we meet Ian Malcolm, but we meet Ian Malcolm in a Starbucks, which has been apparently commandeered by a bunch of uh, uh, smaller raptors and dinosaurs and things. And they're like they're just hanging out in this coffee shop, and and Malcolm's all like, it's like me, he's like oh, ah, it's like walking around, he's like I see life has found a way, ah, and like like there's a velociraptor, but it has managed to, it it went behind the counter and it uh, like about human sized one, and it and it got inside one of the aprons, it's like, it's like walking around after it's apparently dispatched the uh, barista. Just to be mean. <laughs> There's like a spot of gore. Malcolm doesn't notice this, of course. Um, oh, he's all, oh, I didn't realize the barista was a velociraptor. How are you going to make a cappuccino? It's all, ah, oh, what a rude. Ah, he walks out. <laughs> See, that would be funny. Well, as long as she can make a coffee. 
<sighs> she like you know, like grabs the coffee maker. It's like <laughs> dumps it on the ground. <laughs> oh, thanks. Uh, I guess I won't have to tip her. <laughs> okay, oh, here's the tip. And it leaves. <laughs> this is why not. Velociraptor serving food. <laughs> Some velocir some dinosaurs and protocompies and things have taken over a catering truck and they're like running around with so it's kinda goofy but fun. That th uh, the eight minute um, fan film theater thing was kind of similar. Also the game was had similar things. But yeah, the uh so they're they're attacking and stuff. Similar scenes, they have to get the girl out of out of uh they gotta solve that story arc basically bad guys are looking for. Her. The girl. Not there's no baby raptor. I'm thinking for the girl. Um, yeah, and they finally catch up with them, but then then uh, Grant and Sattler help them to escape, and uh, they make their way from the Sierra Nevada to the uh, to L.A. where the main bad guys. And the bad guys uh, are uh, holed up in the ruin of of the uh, the Capitol Records building, <laughs> which the uh, the bad guy has taken over. Uh, because uh, he figures, well, I can be, or one of the other large buildings there. Maybe it's the, the B of A building, uh, Crocker, Crocker International B of A building, better known as the Maze Bank in uh, in um, in GTA Five. That building. Uh, <laughs> so it's that building. It's the uh, it's the uh, the uh, I think that's uh, it's not Comical anymore. I think it's Chase or something. It's a Chase building. I think is what it, I think is what it is. The chase building. So they're up in the chase building. And that's where the main bad guy is. He's literally in the chase building. And there's like T-Rexes and stuff there. So so you have the uh, cor go to the corporate bad guy and figure out what's going on thing. You don't have any locusts and thing. That wasn't in my version. Um, of course, far as you have that. And they do the scary dinosaurs running down the street and rampaging things. Knocking over cars and stuff. You have the Titanosaur fight the T-Rex. Fight the Allosaurus. But it's like in the middle of, like they've gone over from Universal to the entryway of Disneyland and are on Main Street going. <laughs> they fight at Disneyland. <laughs> They're like literally fighting over <laughs> the park. They cross over to from from there. Uh, also, the Universal escalator is how they get up the, the to escape. Escalator. If that's still there. <laughs> But yeah, uh, yeah. So there's some corridor escapes, some car escapes, some various. Uh, yeah, Ooh, well, they do address the T Rex and the eyesight thing because they capture Woo at one point, and he's like, and they're like, you know, what didn't make any sense. The first movie, th thirty years ago, is a T Rex visual acuity is not based on movement. It totally would have killed us, but it just wasn't hungry. Ah, and he's all like, actually. That particular one was myopic because we bred it that way. Yeah, so he knew, yes. <laughs> it was myopic. It had bad eyes. We didn't yeah, we didn't we didn't design it right. It was There's also there's also broken dinosaurs on the beach and stuff. <laughs> there's also a homeless dude with a with a dinosaur. There's also like just hanging out with it. Yeah, there's like a scene where or is word like there's a some comp protocompies and some Allosaurus and Gingosaurus and Ginkosaurus and they're like they get a hold of a a marijuana uh, vehicle of some kind and they're like ah oh. there's, there's like a dude dispensing like medical like supplies or whatever and they break into it including that get all high. The dinosaurs like the dinosaurs at the end of the street and Lexi and Tim run out and the end of the street and they're like like oh no what the hell what? it's it's those dangerous dinosaur bitey bitey ones the small ones and they're annoying. What's wrong with it? So I think the cameras are too hot. It's quite hot in here. Uh this is just the Jurassic Park uh Cal Cat and Mark's cards version written during the pandemic or really thought of. Uh I was finishing up what they were saying about the the stoner dinosaur, which is it down just that they're like, oh, the stoner dinosaur is high. That's all. Um, it's a bit weird. Uh, also, there's a dinosaur that puts on a 
puts on a, it gets into a wig shop and it puts on a, 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 a yellow wig and is mistaken for the former president. It's like one of those pachyoderm things. Uh, <laughs> so there's, there would be a lot of jokes, clearly. It would be like a, a comedy thing. It wouldn't be scary. Um, but some of it would be. It would be gory, like like on purpose. It would be like Peter Jackson gory in parts. There would be, there would be a part where they're rampaging through the streets of Los Angeles. There would be a part where there's gore all over a car. Ah. There would be a part where they where, where at one point they have they've rigged one up to a rickshaw that's driving a rickshaw. It's like the road really fast and they're trapped in it. Ah, you know something like that. Uh, yeah, so it isn't like they like herd them and, and maintain them like herding animals. That doesn't make sense. It's more like no, they're trying to get they're trying to get away from them. Um, so so that makes the attention a little better. Uh, there was a scene like it that made it into the movie. That was the scene where they're in that Budapest-like town, and the end that we have we have Chris Pratt's character on a motorcycle being chased by velociraptors that are being that are like cat velociraptors and they're following literally the cat light thing going activated somehow a laser light makes them go at people even though that makes no sense at all that they would act like a cat and then go after things you'd think that the laser light would just make them just make them mad they wouldn't they wouldn't necessarily attack but oh well and of course, Jurassic Fight Club happens. Da, 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 da. And of course, the Titanic Titanic creatures fight in Disneyland in the in the uh, opening of China. <laughs> and there's like going over like ah, that extra mosasaur thing, not necessarily. So that was my idea for Jurassic <laughs> a Jurassic World movie. Yeah, um, would have been a little sillier, but. But it would have been gory, too. There would have been a body count. Not just the scene where they're in the Fight Club scene where... So some of it did make it into the movie. It's just like they didn't use enough of it when they wanted to show the, you know, the, the guy. <coughs> yeah. <coughs> and they just had too much going on. The new one, The new one is just too much of the other stuff. Just big. Like, oh, let's let's do that Nedry thing again with the bad guy. He gets attacked by the compies with the frill thing. Although technically, unless they engineered them to do that, to spit venom at their prey, they didn't do that. Macker and the other guys later on said that no no, they, the um they, the Dilaposaurus didn't do that. It didn't have like poison glands. It probably was more like a, a more like a Komodo dragon. It would bite you and then you would die later from sepsis. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, but, but yeah. And, uh, and actually, the T-Rex was actually really good eyesight. The T-Rex actually could, uh, could, uh, it was also more of a scavenger, because it didn't really have strong arms. It had tiny little arms. So it basically would crush its prey by kind of Ooh, and the only way the T-Rex could mate is if it somehow managed to roll over on its side. Mmm, but yes. Mmm. Either that or scientifically accurate T-Rex. If it didn't lay over on its side, maybe it's schlong. Really big. Boom, ba boom. And they made fun of that in that in that in that spoofy cartoon where they were going you know, to Barney is the Real T Rex, and uh, that was on the YouTube uh, animation ATHT. Anyway, so doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, putting Barney in part three. Uh, uh no, and Ellie Sattler's kids in that one would have been. Well, I guess it kind of makes sense. He'd be twenty now, but yeah, some of that other stuff doesn't add up. The mother doesn't add up. That's what it is. Anyway, so that wasn't the case in this. They sort of retconned some things. Some of them, some things weren't the case. They changed. Maybe they just didn't remember. So, yeah. 
Yeah, so I didn't mind the, the new movie. It had some elements of our ideas in it. Uh, but but yeah, it didn't it didn't go far enough with it. I could have I could have stayed on the that Malta place that was kind of cool. Stayed in there for a while, or, or the uh, the escaped poacher place scene. Or whatever. Yeah, I was okay with that. The, but that did they have to spend the last half half the movie, uh, the last part of the movie, the last third act, just repeating part two basically, without the gymnastics girl. <laughs> Let's repeat part two. Let's just go back into the th part one as well, and just do the building. And the That's not what we were gonna do. Our climax and our version was way more ambitious. They would have had to get permission from Disneyland to film there and do. They could have used Universal the whole time, but that's not as much fun. I mean, it is Universal. <clears throat> but they put a guy. <laughs> Maybe like the maybe like the T Rex attacked California Adventure. It's like oh, it goes that way. Anyway, so yeah, uh, there would be some gags, and yeah, the, yeah, they're trying to like just poach dinosaurs. It's kind of strange. The Quetzalcoatlosaurus. Although in the movie, the new movie, the Quetzalcoatlosaurus. The size of that cargo plane? No, it's not. The Quetzalcoatlosaurus is the size of a chicken. I've seen the bones. Well, in the TV. I haven't actually seen the bones. Mmm. I think the only fossilized stuff that I found was like years ago on a beach and then up, up in California, up, down, up in the foothills and stuff. I found some sandstone with shells in them that were fossilized. Mmm. Fossilized shells. They're like turned into rock. It's cool. I don't know what happened to that rock. I mean, that's some other rocks like that. Kept one of them. But yeah, fossilized little shell bits in the rock. Like, turned into, like, shale. It was probably more of a, yeah, like a. Yeah, it was, it was a rock with, with bits of shellfish and stuff. Little clams and things. But not dinosaur bones. Not dinosaurs. Mmm. On the black belt chestin, I did in fact see a dead dog that was all decayed up there. Like a coyote or a dog. It was all skeleton. Mmm. One of them retreats. About years ago. In 2002 or so. It's dead. Well, it wasn't fossilized though. It was his dog. I also had a friend in Jim Tacon. Well, that's his nickname. And uh, he had a cat skull that he found in high school. He was like, I have a cat skull. <laughs> what a cat skull. Mmm. He thought it was like a little lizard skull or something. And then and John said, That's a cat. It's a cat skull. A small cat. It's like, Ah, oh, it's gross. <laughs> Oh, it's a kitty cat. It's a kitty cat. Yes. He identified the skull correctly as a cat. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> what happened to it? Anyway, so yeah. It's a T Rex. T Rex. And it's possible that the ancient men thought when they found dinosaur bones that they were finding dragons. Or cyclopses. Very likely, because elephant bones, elephant skulls look weird. They have sort of a funny, like, protrusion. But their nose, it's actually their nose is up here, so it comes out like that. It looks like an eye. Yeah, because they have like a long trunk. Hmm. So yeah, um, hmm. Also, whale skeletons kind of like weird. So are dolphins. They have like little feet buried in there. Whale skeletons. Seen them on the TV. I don't think I've ever seen a dead whale. I've seen a regular fish, but. Um, hmm. <laughs> yeah, so there's our Jurassic Park thing. <laughs>